Six centuries ago, Europeans believed Portugal marked the edge of the world. Back then, the Earth's shape was still a mystery, and this coastal nation symbolized the boundary of the known. However, in 1521, everything changed with the groundbreaking journey of Portuguese explorer Fernão de Magalhães, or Ferdinand Magellan. His expedition, which began in Portugal, proved the Earth was round, challenging flat Earth beliefs and reshaping humanity's understanding forever. Portugal's legacy as a pioneer in exploration is etched into history. Yet, beneath its charm lies a series of controversies that the world doesn't often talk about. Today, we explore what Portugal doesn't always want you to know. Number 1. The colonial past and its lingering effects. Portugal's history is deeply intertwined with colonialism, a legacy that casts a long shadow over the nation today. Beginning with Vasco da Gama's discovery of the sea route to India in 1498 and Pedro Álvarez Cabral's arrival in Brazil around 1500, Portugal expanded its empire, but at a brutal cost. For centuries, Portugal enslaved indigenous peoples and brought millions of Africans to Brazil, forcing them into grueling labor. Over four million Africans were transported under horrific conditions, many perishing due to abuse or malnutrition. The exploitation of resources like gold, silver, and Brazil wood devastated the environment and displaced entire communities. The social and environmental consequences of colonialism still echo today, contributing to systemic poverty, social inequality, and discrimination in former colonies like Brazil. Number 2. The struggles beneath Portugal's tourism boom. Portugal's tourism industry is a major driver of the economy, attracting over 20 million visitors each year. Its stunning beaches, charming medieval castles, and rich cultural heritage, including ancient churches and picturesque towns, are key selling points. The Algarve region, with its mild climate and breathtaking beaches, and Lagos, with its secluded charm and sunsets, are particular favorites among tourists. Visitors flock to these regions for both relaxation and adventure, contributing significantly to Portugal's GDP. However, the booming tourism industry has its downsides. The influx of tourists has led to rising property prices and gentrification, especially in Lisbon, Porto, and other key cities. Locals are increasingly being priced out of their neighborhoods, with long-term residents facing the challenge of finding affordable housing. Moreover, the high demand for short-term rentals, Airbnb, etc., has exacerbated the housing shortage, pushing up rents for locals and making it difficult for them to stay in the cities they call home. The tourism sector's dominance also risks overshadowing other important aspects of the economy and creating a dependence on a volatile industry. With global uncertainties, including economic downturns and pandemics, the tourism industry's fragility becomes evident, leaving Portugal vulnerable when things go wrong. Number 3. The Dark Era of Religious and Political Repression Portugal's history also includes periods of brutal internal repression. The Portuguese Inquisition, 1500 to 1821, is one of the darkest chapters, where heretics, Jews, Protestants, and anyone who challenged Catholic orthodoxy were tortured, executed, or burned alive at the stake. Figures like Father Antonio Vieira, who opposed the Inquisition, became victims of the very system they sought to dismantle. This pattern of repression continued under the Estado Novo dictatorship, 1926 to 1974, led by Antonio de Oliveira Salazar. For nearly five decades, Portugal endured severe human rights violations, censorship, political oppression, and brutal persecution of dissidents. The regime's reign of terror, including imprisonment, torture, and the banning of opposition parties, only ended with the peaceful Carnation Revolution in 1974, which restored democracy to Portugal. Number 4. Economic Inequality and the Struggle for Fair Wages Despite its historical prominence, Portugal remains one of the most economically unequal countries in the EU. Nearly half of the nation's wealth is controlled by just 5% of the population, stifling economic growth. 
While many tourists are drawn to Portugal's picturesque cities and affordable living, the reality for many locals is starkly different. The cost of living, especially in cities like Lisbon and Porto, has surged in recent years. Housing prices have skyrocketed and wages have not kept pace. The minimum wage in Portugal remains insufficient for many to live comfortably, with most people needing around 1,300 euros per month to cover basic expenses. Youth unemployment is high, with 23% of young people between the ages of 15 and 24 unemployed. As a result, many young Portuguese are forced to emigrate in search of better opportunities, contributing to the country's significant brain drain. Number 5. The Housing Crisis and Financial Strain While Portugal is often praised for its affordability compared to other European destinations, the reality of everyday life can be financially challenging. The housing crisis, particularly in Lisbon and Porto, has made both buying and renting a property a financial burden for many, including immigrants. With the rising cost of living, many Portuguese are forced to make difficult choices. Public health care, though available, often pushes people toward private plans due to concerns about quality. Education costs also place strain on families, making it difficult to break the cycle of poverty, especially for those in rural areas. Number 6. The Brain Drain – A Nation Losing Its Youth Portugal faces a significant brain drain as its young population increasingly seeks opportunities abroad. With wages lower than in other parts of Europe and high costs of living, many Portuguese feel they must leave to secure a better future. This exodus has left Portugal struggling with a shortage of skilled labor, particularly in industries that require specialized education and expertise. The high unemployment rate among young people, combined with low wages, means that upward mobility is a challenge for many. This issue also affects the future of the country's economy, which relies on a younger, more educated workforce to drive innovation and growth. If you enjoyed this video, please share your rating and favorite part in the comments. Before moving on to the next video, don't forget to leave a like. It really helps the channel. If you're new here, welcome. Be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you never miss out.